Good afternoon once again, Joseph. Good afternoon to you, Karen and Arthur. Thanks for having me on the meeting. And good afternoon to you as well, Joseph. So, are you planning to teach Mr. Parker a big lesson that he won't forget? Exactly. Even though I am happy that you two gave me another iPad, I am still angry that Mr. Parker won't give me my other iPad back to me until I have completed serving after school detention. It's only been like a few days, and I don't think I can take this anymore. You know what? Arthur and I have a very good idea to get your other iPad back. What will that be? Listen very closely, because I know you're going to like what we're going to tell you. I have decided that tomorrow, you're going to sneak out of detention, and you'll come over to our place. We're going to make a suit that looks like Mr. Parker. Oh my goodness, I have not done this in a very long time. I know, and once you arrive at school, you're going to get into the Mr. Parker suit, and do something like ground the entire class for breaking some silly rules that have nothing to do with the actual classroom rules, or what not. And sometimes, Mr. Parker is late because rush hour traffic can be really bad. Of course, he will be sent to the principal's office, and he will lose his job over whatever he did. And that way, you can finally get your iPad back. I really like that idea. I can't wait for Mr. Parker to lose his job, and Karen, I would like you to be the new teacher for my class. I will most certainly do that. And I am going to teach the students that the world revolves around me, Arthur, Taryn, Larry Loud, and you Joseph. We are the most entitled people in the whole world, and no one can make silly rules for us. Then, I can be the teacher's assistant. And I have an especially great idea. We're going to have the class watch Coco Melon, Super Simple Songs, Baby Shark, Blues Clues, Thomas, and Friends, Sesame Street, Blues Clues, Wonder Pets, and Paw Patrol, and we're going to be watching these shows all day long. They are much more educational. And we're going to teach everyone in the world that no one is too old to be watching those shows. As a matter of fact, they are actually for all ages, not just toddlers and preschoolers. Anyways, Arthur and I have to get going for right now, because we're about to watch more episodes of Wonder Pets. But we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow afternoon and making the suit. You take care, Arthur and Karen. I'll see you tomorrow after school. You take care, Joseph. All right, Joseph, you may now go. I'll see you tomorrow in class. All right, time to go home. And I will be watching baby shows after dinner. Don't forget, you have homework to get done. Joseph, so glad you are able to make it. I'm glad to be here again, Karen and Arthur. Now. Let's make the Mr. Parker suit. What are we waiting for? Let's get to work immediately. Joseph, how long do you think this is going to take to get the suit completed? I know, if we all use GoAnimate logic, we should get this thing done in 30 minutes. An hour at most. Let's get to work, and get this done really soon. Using the power of Go Animate Logic. Wow, that was fast. I was anticipating it would take a few hours to make the suit. Karen, I told you it would not take that long if we use GoAnimate logic, which we did. Now, I am going to take to the suit tomorrow. I can't wait to see the look on Mr. Parker's face when he is told that he is losing his job. Alright, now this is going to be the best day in my life. I am going to get into the suit, and then make the class think Mr. Parker is the one making up silly rules and grounding everyone in the class.
All right class, Joseph will be marked absent for the day. Anyways, I am going to use the restroom, so please stay in your seats because I will be back in no more than five minutes. Mr. Parker, you're back early. Hey, don't you talk to me like that. I am the teacher, and I do whatever I want. Now, we're going to be watching some Coco Melon for the remainder of the school day. Wait, what? Are we in preschool or something? This is the fifth grade. I don't care. I am the teacher, and what I say is final. And we're going to watch Coco Melon. Now, be quiet, or you will be grounded. Hey, you can't ground us. You are not my dad. Now, let's get with today's lesson. Hey, what did I say about talking back? You get one strike, two more and then you're grounded. We're not interested in Coco Melon, especially since I have to listen to it every single day because my younger sibling watches it. Stefan, you have just received your second strike. One more and you're grounded, and I'm sending you to the special timeout corner. Seriously, what is the special timeout corner? The special timeout corner is where kids go for misbehaving. It has wooden spoons and spatulas on the wall. The special timeout room doesn't even exist in this school. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. You are all grounded, 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 grounded for one billion trillion Google Plex generations. Now face my teeth. Face it. You know what? We're telling the principal. This is going very smoothly. I can't wait until the principal calls Mr. Parker into her office. And then I'm going to have Karen become the new teacher. Mr. Parker, report to my office immediately. Mr. Parker, report to my office immediately. Yes, everything is going according to plans. Principal Jones, why are you angry? What did I do? Mr. Parker, don't play smart with me. You know exactly what you did in your classroom, your students filed a complaint with me, and I even have video surveillance footage. Principal Jones, there is no way I could have done any of this. I was using the restroom, and I was about to return to my classroom when you called me into the office. Don't lie to me. That will only make things worse. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. There is no way I could have done any of this. Maybe if I show you, then you will understand. Come over here. You are all grounded, 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 grounded for one billion trillion Google Plex generations. Now face my teeth. Face it. <laughs> Principal Jones, again, I could not have done any of this. I don't talk this way to my students, and I didn't even intend to have the class be watching Coco Melon. Mr. Parker, this is something to be taken seriously. Because of your behavior, I am letting you go from your position. Now get out of my office. Wait a minute, that's a suit that looks like me, and I have a feeling some troublemaker is behind all of this. Most likely Joseph did all of this. And he may have just run off of school grounds after getting me terminated from my job. Wait a minute, I can see him walking home. I'm going to bring him back to the school. He is in so much trouble. Yes, Mr. Parker has just lost his teaching job. Now, 
I'm going over to Karen's house, and Karen will be the new teacher. We're going to show the students that the world revolves around us. Joseph, read, get into the car right now. You are in big trouble. Mr. Parker, so it was Joseph who was behind all of this. I believe it was. In fact, I found this suit by the main entrance, it looks just like me. Now, looking at the surveillance tapes, I found out that it was Joseph who got you terminated from your job. I'll play the tape right now. Alright, now this is going to be the best day in my life. I am going to get into the suit, and then make the class think Mr. Parker is the one making up silly rules and grounding everyone in the class. Joseph, what you did was very serious. You nearly cost Mr. Parker his teaching job. And for this, you will be serving in school suspension for a month, starting from today. Go there, right now. And I will be informing your parents about this. Joseph, we cannot believe how angry we are with you right now. Why did you get your teacher terminated from his job? That was the most insane thing you have ever done. For this, you will be grounded for a month. No Coco Melon, no Barney and Friends, no super simple songs, no TV, no video games, no iPad, and no more talking to or hanging out with Arthur and Karen. Now go upstairs to your room now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop it.